Good evening, class. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Hello, Nidia. Hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you guys so much for connecting. Hello, good evening. All right. Great, I'm glad to see it. Uh, most of you, good for you. Thank you very much for connecting, for being with us. I know that um, sometimes it's not that easy, but um, trust me, it really makes a difference. Um, you know that um, you you make the effort, okay? Um, all right, so uh, what I will do is um, I'll wait maybe a little bit just for um, other people that uh, will connect maybe about five more minutes, um, but, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do the attendance, okay? So for those of you um, um, that for whatever reason cannot participate in this moment, um, just, just make sure that you uh, turn, that you answer uh, when I, I pass the list, okay? All right, so in the meantime, uh, we are gonna start our class by um, checking out this information. So just a, it's just a review of what we saw on Wednesday. Yes, it was Wednesday. Okay, so let's um, quickly review that. Um, okay, so at the end of the class on Wednesday, we started talking about um, how to give reasons, okay? And we learned that we can use these words here, because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, or the reason why, okay? So because, um, is a word is a word that connects two sentences together. Um, it's basically saying how one how one idea or one better said let's say one clause. Okay, let's put it that way. Okay, so in this case, I like Casablanca. Maybe I'll do it a little bit thicker. Okay, so you're saying, I like Casablanca. And basically, the because is saying the reason why you like Casablanca. Okay, and the reason is precisely this. because it's, it's always packed. Remember Casablanca was the, um, like the nightclub, right? Right? Because it's always packed. All right? So, um, yeah, we use the word because to, um, to give the reason for that, okay? Now, um, then we have the word since, and here uh, we have a time, uh, sorry, a, a, a reason, yeah, let's say a, a, a reason clause, right? So it's giving us the reason. Over here in this one, it's telling us the reason. It's always so packed. And in this case, we're gonna have to put a comma. And the reason why we put the comma 
is because the word sins, which is the connector, is at the beginning. So you say, since it's always so packed, and then we have the, um, the comma, and that's that. That's the reason. Uh, basic. That's the reason, and the main clause is this. There's always a long way outside the club. Okay. So basically, it's almost like saying like this is the, this is the result, this is the reason, and this is the the result. Okay. Let's put it that way. All right. And then we have because of this is the result and the reason is this the fashionable people here usually uh, when we use the difference between because and because of is that because of we're going to be using a noun okay so in this case the fashionable people this is a noun Okay, because of, for example, because of my work, because of the fashionable people, because of, you know, that then we're using a noun. Here, whoops, here we're using, um, in this one, we're not using a noun, we're using a, a clause, okay? And then we have um, this one, the Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. In this case, the four is telling me, it's like saying the reason, okay? Not for like, it's like not when you say, for example, this is for you. No, that's not how we use for. In this case, for is like um, telling us a reason. So the reason is it's, it's fabulous music. Again, this is after four, um, we, use, we use a noun. Okay, and the main idea is this, the Soul Club is famous. But we always use four in the middle. We can't put four at the beginning, okay? This one, yes, we can say, there's a long wait outside the club since it's always so packed. That's possible, but this one, no. Or it's also possible because of the fashionable people, comma, it's popular. But this one, it's impossible. You can't say for it's a fabulous, for it's fabulous music, comma, the soul club is famous. That's not possible. We have to put four in the middle. Okay. Um, here, due to the crowds, again, this one is using a a noun, okay, and then so it's the main idea here is the Casablanca is difficult to get into. It's also possible to say the Casablanca is difficult to get into due to the crowds. That's also possible. And the last one, the reason that or the reason why. And this one is more like a cleft clause, okay? Uh, sorry, a cleft sentence. So this one um, says the reason why people go there, okay? So, and then we use the main idea. Is, it's telling us the reason, right? Now this is the reason. Oh no, sorry. No, 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 sorry, my mistake. Here. People go there is the main idea, sorry. And the reason is this one, just to be seen. That's the reason. Okay, so this one's kind of like opposite, right? So this one, uh, when you use the reason, we're going to be using the, the consequence and then the, the, the reason, okay? And for this one, we're connecting the two ideas with the verb to be.
Okay. All right, uh, any questions at this point? Anything you wanna ask about? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay? All right. No questions at all? No question, teacher. Okay. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do then is, well, I'm going to stop sharing for the moment because I'm going to take the attendance right now. Okay. Great. Thank you, Susanna. All right. So let's take the attendance since uh, now we have a lot more people. Okay. Here we go. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Vecinos. Present. Thank you very much. Um, Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. Present. Excellent. Thank you very much. Brandy Marilu Pimentel Kolchek. Kolchek. Present. Sorry, did I say it wrong? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah. it's Kroll check. Right, okay, perfect. All right. Eh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Edson Sandy Hernandez Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Eduardo Jose Melgar Mel Melgar. Eduardo Jose, not here. Okay. Um, Ileana Janet Alvarado Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltran. I'm here. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Joanna Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Eh, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Nivia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitan. Present, Miss. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Uh, I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Saul Antonio Hernández Torres. Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, San Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. And Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much, uh, everybody. Teacher, excuse me. Hi. Yes, Karen. I am Karen, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Ah, es que okay. se me cayó el internet, por eso no podía volverme a conectar. Ok, no hay problema. Le agradecemos, Karen, de que, que se haya vuelto a conectar. Ok. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, so we are going to um we're going to continue. Okay, so now so now that we understand this, let's complete let's complete um these sentences here with one of these words. We have we can use the word because. Okay, remember because connects um two clauses in a sentence, okay? Um, and we, after the because, we always use 
the a clause, okay? Since, again, here we have a, a complete clause. It's not a phrase, but a clause. And then we have over here, here we usually are gonna have a noun phrase. A noun phrase means that we're not gonna have, um, we're not gonna have a just one word. It's gonna be a noun that is composed of many parts, okay? The same thing with a for. For, we have a noun phrase after it. It's beautiful, it's fabulous music. It's a noun, but it's it's a long noun. It's a compound noun, let's say. So that's why it's a phrase. Okay, it has no no verb. And then here again, due to the crowds. Again, here's a noun. And uh, here we we can it's possible to use the word due to at the beginning, um, but it's also possible to use it in the middle. And here, the reason why this is always at the beginning. Okay, and this is like a cleft sentence. All right, so now that we understand this, let's complete this exercise here. Complete the paragraph with because, since, because of, for, and do to. Um, to make it, I think, easier for everybody right now, um, I will just, I will do two things. I will copy this and send it to you guys through the WhatsApp group, so that'll be easier for you to see it. Okay, so I may do that. And the second thing I'll do is I'll just let you guys work on it individually. I won't put you into breakout rooms. Okay, I think it'll be a lot easier that way. Okay, do you have it there? Do you see it? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. So let's, let's. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a chance to, um, to work on it, okay? To complete which one would be more appropriate. Okay, and then we'll check together. And if you guys have any questions, anything you want to ask me about, I'm here to help. Your point? Okay, of course.
Any questions so far? Anything you need me to help you with? Everything okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, sorry, Susanna. Yes, um, I just saw your message. Um, yes, correct. I did say a noun phrase. Uh, in this case, um, what a noun phrase means is that it, it doesn't, um, it's not a complete idea. Okay, so uh, for so a noun phrase means that, um, for example, a it's it basically it's a noun, but it's composed of many words, but it's not a complete idea. So, for example, to say, um, my parents' house in Paris. My parents' house in Paris. Okay, that's a, that's a, a noun, right? We're talking about a house. It's a noun, but it's it's not just composed of one word. It's not just the house. It's my parents' house, but not just any any of what my parents' house. It's in Paris. So um, in that case, it means that um, that we're being specific which house we're talking about, right? So all of that, my parents, and I can write it down if you if you're not sure about it. Excuse me, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, we use bef uh, sorry, we use because only with personal pronouns or like I, you, she. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because then that's a clause. So we use because with a com with a complete clause, which is different. Because in that way, in complete clauses, we have a subject and a verb. Okay, and it's complete. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. So there, yeah. So you go, um, my parents' house in Paris, going back to the other thing, it, it's it's a noun, but there's no verb, right? There's no verb, so it's not a complete clause. Okay. Excuse me, teacher, I have a question. Of course. Tell me. When I can use the reason that or why? Oh, that's what we call a cleft sentence. So if you notice in this one, so here it's kind of like the like reversed. Here after um, the subordinator, let's say, uh, we use the, the clause, the main idea. People go there. Okay, people go there. And then in this one, we give the reason after. And we give the reason after precisely the verb to be. Okay. We use the after the verb to be. So it's like when you say in Spanish, la razón por qué no voy al viaje es porque no tengo dinero. La razón por qué no voy al viaje. So, no voy al viaje. Esa es la, 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 la idea principal, digamos, um, o la, el resultado. Okay, no voy, no, no voy al viaje. Y hay una razón. Y la razón se encuentra después de es. Okay, entonces, is just to be seen. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. 
All right. Are we ready or do you need more time, guys? In my case, I'm ready. You're ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Perfect. Let's, okay. can we check or does anybody need more time? I'm down to check. Yeah, okay. All right, perfect. Let's check then. Um, okay, so MTV is one of the most popular television networks in the world. Um, people love MTV not only because of because very good because and how do we know this because there is there is a the second part because it's music beat exactly so this is a clause a complete clause mm -hmm. okay because it's a complete idea it's we have the down and the and the verb right so, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the what the difference in the because or uh, because of? So, because needs a a a clause, and the clause is subject and the verb. Whereas because of is just going to be a noun phrase. Okay, it could be a noun or a noun phrase. Yeah, the fashionable people is a noun phrase. But here, this is a complete, uh, a complete noun idea, right? It's a, it's a clause, because we have um, the subject, it, right? And we have the verb. And the verb is to be, right? And after that, we have a complement, always backed. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, the dependent, the, um, the is it verb or uh, to be or the Compliment. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be any verb. But the important thing is that here we have a we have a, a complete idea. It's a clause. Okay, it's a clause, and the clause is composed of um, it's composed of 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 the subject and the verb to be. Okay. Sorry, no, sorry, not in this case it's verb to be, but it doesn't have to be the verb to be. It's just it can be any verb. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any questions at this moment? No. No. Okay, perfect. Let's uh continue then. Um Okay, so people love MTV not only because it's it's music videos. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 my mistake. My mistake, guys. This is my mistake. This Did you guys say because or because of? Because of. Yeah. Because of. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I wrote just because. It's because of. There you go. In this case, it's just, it's... Music videos, it's music videos is a noun. It's a noun phrase because of its music videos, but also or would it be for? Um, because? Yeah. Actually, in this one, we could actually use because of again, but so it's, it's become, kind of redundant. So it's kind of redundant. So I would probably go for the word for. Okay. 
All right, so it is possible. Technically speaking, we could say because of again, but because we, because, valga la redundancia, we already used because of, we probably should use another word. Okay, so for is very similar to because of. Okay, sounds good so far? Good. Yeah. Okay. All right, next. So, mm -hmm. for it's clever, Same. there is room. Since, since. Yes. perfect. Since. Since it keeps, it shows up to the minute, young people watch MTV for the latest fads in music and fashion. MTV is also well known. For? Yes. Um, for. Or, yes, perfect. Is well known for its music award show. Uh huh. The reason why. Perfect. Yes. The reason, or simply the reason. The reason why. Yeah. You can say the reason why, or just in my case, I'm just going to put the reason uh, because of space, <laughs> right? So the reason so many people watch it is to see all the fashionable, fashionable guests. MTV even has shows about uh, politics. These shows are popular. Do it too. Because. Do, um, do it too. Uh, no, do to is always is always going to be using an inf uh, a noun, okay, or a noun or a noun phrase. And here we don't have a noun or a noun phrase; we have clause. So this one works better with the shows are popular because yes, this one works because, better with because because yeah. yes, exactly. So because they are informative and appealing to young people. Next. Do two. Do, do two. Yeah, that could work. Exactly. Do two. Because in this one, it's at the beginning of the of the sentence. And also, if you notice, it's a noun, it's a noun phrase. Okay, there's a noun phrase. Um So the noun phrase is this right here, MTV's widespread popularity. So notice it's a noun. This is a noun. It's not, there's no verb there. So it's not a complete idea. It's not, it's not a clause. Okay. It's so that's why we're going to be using. So the key to this, the key to identifying which one is the right one are two things. One, identify which ones use a clause after it and which ones use a noun or a noun phrase after it okay and two identify which ones always have to be at the beginning for example this one the reason or um, the reason why that it always has to be at the beginning okay um and um, what else? Yeah, pretty much that one. And do to is not, doesn't have to be at the beginning, but it's usually at the beginning. Okay. Um, Hi, um, somebody raised their hand. Am I right? Was it you, Brandy? Uh, yes. Uh, or time it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I would like to say that we can identify the reason why or the reason mm -hmm. because we have the verb the verb to be yes. in the sentence. Yes, you're absolutely right, Jaime. Yeah, exactly. So it's always the reason 
why or the reason that is always going to be at the beginning. And uh, this one's actually very, very uh, different from the other ones, because in this one, after this, we're going to have the consequence or the result and then the verb to be. Okay, so definitely the verb to be is always going to be there. Okay. All right. Any questions about this? No. Okay. All right. Perfect. Seems like you guys got it. Um, okay. So just give me a moment. Just a moment, guys. Okay. Um, tell me if you are able to see my screen. You able to see my screen? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Yes, I see. Wonderful. Um, so in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to be matching um, the, we're going to be matching the situation with the reason, okay? What makes sense? Okay. So I'll give you a, a chance as well to match them. Okay, we're gonna check the the answers together, all together. I'll just give you a little bit of uh, a few minutes to for you guys to work on this. Okay, so we'll, we'll do it together. Don't worry.
Okay, are you guys ready? No. No? No, teacher. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. More time. Thank you. More time. I'll give you more time. No worries. Well, we can do it together, teacher. At the end. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely a little bit be, definitely be checking. I'll I'll just give you two more minutes. I think it should be enough. Si uno no se enamora de cualquier persona. ¿Eh? All right, I think that's two minutes. Okay, are you guys ready to check? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yes. All right, Um. so let's do the first one. The um, family owned shops are closing. The well, option B. Option B. Due to an excess of shopping malls. Do you agree? I agree. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Um. All right, let's actually, I'm going to do this a little bit thicker. Okay, next. People love Levi's jeans. Because of his... Because they are always fashionable. Good, because they have always been fashionable. Good. Good. The BBC is well known. Letter D. Letter D for its attractive and charming post. For its attractive and charming post. E. Um, what about letter E? Um, yeah. The BBC. Yeah, letter E. Yeah, the BBC is a very well respected um, news channel, let's say. So I would yeah. say I would say that it would probably be more appropriate to use this one because of its informative in programming. Yes, teacher. Good. You're right. Yeah. Huge supermarket right. <laughs> huge supermarket chains are popular. There are a in price since prices are generally more price are generally more for good since, yes since prices are generally more affordable okay um people everywhere drink coca-cola because 
Mm -hmm. H, letter A. Letter F. H. Letter G. What's their big choice and products? Um, no. no, I should confuse your product. Because the advertising is clever and entertaining. Yes. No. Um. Letter D. For it's a tribe yeah. and now. Letter G. Letter G. Yes. People everywhere drink Coca Cola since it's advertised since it advertises worldwide. Okay, mm -hmm. because it's, they're talking about everywhere, right? So okay. all around the world, in other words. Okay. Next, teenagers watch MTV. Because the advertising is okay. entertaining. Yes. Um, Could it be letter D as well? Letter D. Yeah, just give me a moment. Nike, sorry. Teenagers watch MTV. I would say uh, because, sorry, for its attractive and charming host. That's definitely would be the best one. Because there's no, no other ones that... From here, that would have attract for attractive and charming hosts. Okay, Nike is a popular brand of clothing. For the big choice. Um. For their big choice of products. Notice there is plural. And here we're talking about Nike. It's only one. Probably letter H. Yes. Because the advertising is clever and entertaining. And many people like mega stores, which is plural. For their big choice. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because yes. they have... Because it's big, you have many choice. Exactly. Yes. Like mega stores for their big choice of products. Okay. All right. Any questions yeah. so far? No, teacher. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Just give me a moment. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, we are now going to, well, we have officially finished um, the second section and we're going to start there with section number three. Um, so we, I need to know if you guys are able to see my screen. No, yet. Right now, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, pet peeves. Do you guys know what pet peeves are? No. No? No. Okay. Pet peeves are those um, things that uh, annoy you. That's a pet peeve. Okay? Things that okay. are very annoying for you. Okay. Okay. Like when the baby crying. Yeah. Pet, pet peeve could be uh, a baby, a baby's cry. That those are things that they're like make you uh all right like they just they, they get on your nerves that's a pet peeve okay all right so um so the first one it says why is it that some people are always late okay so that's somebody's pet peeve okay that somebody yeah. Uh, that they 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 don't understand they don't get it why so there's always somebody that is always that is always late um okay next 
Why is it that some people never return phone calls or answer emails? Okay. Next. Why is it that some people don't listen carefully when you talk to them? So maybe they, they keep on asking the same questions that you already explained because they were not listening. Um, sorry, there we go, that's better. Um, why is it that you, um, some people act differently in front of people they want to impress? So they're not their true selves, right? They're always acting differently depending on who they're in front of. Why is it some people always look messy? So they cannot clean up and look nice. They always look very messy, like they just got up from, from, from bed. Next, why is it some people never remember to return things? <laughs> I already see some faces that are, that these are definitely pet peeves. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is it that some people are always sh short of money? So they always like, oh, I don't have money. You know, they're yeah. always saying that they don't have money. After they ate something. Oh, yeah, that, that, that happens. Why is it that some people never know when to go home or get off the phone? So you invite them to your house and they never go home. And, or you're talking to them and they never stop talking on the phone. And you're like, you want to get off the phone and they don't stop talking. Okay, so which of the above pet peeves do you have about people you know? Which one is the worst? Underline a pet peeve you could be accused of. When and why are you guilty of it? And what other things do you get? What other things do you get pe peeved about? Okay, so these are some of the questions I would like you guys to discuss with um, your group. This time I will put you into breakout rooms, um, but uh, I'll put you into lock, like um, a big breakout room so that you guys, so that will, I'm sure there'll be a few people participating in the groups, okay? Um, okay. So let's, um, first of all, I'll send you guys. Here we go. So here is the, I'm sending you the, the screenshot and okay. I am putting you guys on into the breakout rooms. And here we go. Let's open the rooms. Hi, I've got and hi, Karen. Hello. Okay. All right. So you guys can participate, right? You guys can discuss, right? Yeah, right. Okay, perfect. All right. So if you need any help, I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. Who wants to start? Chicos, chicas. Ay, no, no se oye. Hola, 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 hola. Hola. Hola, Edgar, ¿me escucha? Sí, yo te escucho. Ok, perdón, me estaba fallando el micrófono. All right. Ok. Eh... Ok. Ok. Okay, uh, uh, why is uh, it that some people uh, uh, 
Robert, and you were as a listener, right? Well, something that uh, made me feel like angry is when somebody have a pet, so any kind of animal, you know, and they they can take care of them. Next one. Uh, sorry, um, is there anybody else in this group, Brandy, that's working with you? Yeah, it's Saul and Eduardo. It's just uh, Robert. This as a listener, okay. I think. Okay, no problem. All right, just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Yeah, it's working. It looks she's working, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm like working. Sorry. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay, and and okay. Yeah. Another question. Uh Jaime. Yes, it's okay. it's okay. I'm gonna choose one more okay. question. Okay. When when and why are you guilty of it? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe which uh, which uh, the teacher said. Um, never remember to return things because <laughs> most of the time it it borrows me. Yeah, sorry, it. I'm guilty. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you guilty? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was confused. I thought that it said, when are you like angry? In which situation? But it is not the question. Or maybe my, my, uh, where I'm guilty of it is the first one are always late maybe uh, probably i'm not always late but sometimes <laughs> i am late as you said it's it is like a tradition in our country so i yeah. think I'm, I'm guilty of this one are yeah. late for example yeah. All right, guys no. and girls. Help. Sorry, Brandy? No, I said with Saul, I need your help. No, really? Yeah. Why? Uh, he left. Oh, okay, okay. All right, guys. I know that there was a little bit of time, and you're probably going to need more time tomorrow. So don't worry. We'll have a chance to discuss a little bit more tomorrow, okay? Oh, sorry, no, not okay. tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, not tomorrow. Monday. On Monday, yes. Yeah, there is tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, it's guys. Right. It's Thank okay. Yeah, I know. Happy weekend. <laughs> All right, guys. Take okay. care. Thank you Have so much for connecting. Thank and you. I'll see you Monday. You. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice Have weekend. weekend, everybody. All right, bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. No, don't bye. worry. Bye. No class tomorrow. <laughs> uh -huh. All right.